Tucson Arena, Arizona WBO featherweight champion Oscar Valdez 230, 19 KOs survived the first knockdown of his career and some tough moments to win a 12-round unanimous decision over previously undefeated challenger Genesis Cervania 291, 12 KOs. The scores were 116,110, 119,111 and 117,109. Photos Mikey Williams Top Rank Valdez controlled the first three rounds, but then Cervania dropped him in the fourth and then rocked him again before the round was over. It was the first knockdown of Valdez's career. Valdez came firing back in the fifth, dropping Cervania hard with a huge left hand. Cervania got up and weathered the storm to survive as Valdez was trying to finish him off. Then at the end of the sixth, it was Cervania who rallied with a lot of punches to stagger Valdez. The same scenario in the seventh, as Cervania came on strong in the final 22nd with a lot of punches to possibly steal the round. The next two rounds saw Valdez with the edge, fighting his way with Cervania in there and also throwing hard shots. Cervania was wasting too much time waiting to land a hard shot, which allowed Valdez to outbox and outwork him in the later rounds. They were both throwing hard stuff in the 12th and final round, and both had their moments especially in the last 10 seconds, when they were trading punches in toe-to-toe -to -toe fashion. In a battle of undefeated super middleweights, Gilberto Ramirez 360, 24 KOs won a 12-round unanimous decision over mandatory challenger Jesse Hart 221, 18 KOs to retain the WBO world title. The scores were 115,112, 115,112, 114,113. Hart was moving around using his jab. He landed a good three-punch combination and several more shots that got Ramirez's attention. In the second round, Ramirez landed a big inside shot that dropped Hart to the mat. Ramirez began to batter him. Hart was slipping a lot of the shots, but also getting tagged quite often as well. Hart got hit with a low blow in the third and went down to a knee to milk a few minutes. He was able to recover his legs and started landing a few good shots as a counterpuncher. Ramirez went back to really giving Hart a beating in the fourth round with hard shots to the head and body. The next few rounds began to slow down more as Hart would hold soften to get away from trouble and Ramirez would continue to pound him. Hart actually started to do well in the eighth round but couldn't make a dent on Ramirez's hard chin. Hart continued to rally in the ninth. He was strictly headhunting. Out of nowhere, Ramirez rocked Hart once again and started working over his head and body. Then Hart railed some more with a four-punch combination. The tenth had Ramirez with the edge. Hart was still in the fight, but getting outworked. Hart had his best round in the eleventh, when he actually staggered Ramirez with a good combination. They were trading hard shots in the twelfth and it appeared that both were hurt during the final minute. 